Hi, today we are going to read Finley and the Minute Monsters, Monster on the Loose, by Zana Davison, illustrated by Min Milani Williamson. Chapter One: The Hunt of Death. Being. And his mini monsters have been very busy all week. So far, they have flown to outer space. Hmm. They practiced catapulting and chocolate diving. Yes, I got on. I played a lot of hide and seek. And for our next adventures, announced Captain Snot, we'd like to go school. Go to school with you, Billy. No way," said Billy. "It's far too dangerous for you, and you'll get me into serious trouble. Here are some of the." Things Billy was worrying about. Captain's not showing off. Fang face eating everyone's ties. Glue getting stuck. Trumpets. Cheese powered farts, and worst of all, the mini. Monsters being discovered and put in a ba 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 zoo. But we could scare off Buzzy Brown, your school bully. Forget, forget it. Front face. He's he's sounds nastier and nastier every time you talk. About him, I'll show him. Billy shook his head. No one could scare Buzzy Brown. He's the busy, biggest, meanest, baddest boy in school. He'd eat you for breakfast. Oh my gosh! If you leave us here, your new Puppy will eat us for breakfast," whispered Peep. "That would be even more dangerous than school." The puppy? Yes, the scary, scary puppy. To you, it's a sweet little dog. Captain Snot explained explain to Billy. To us, it is the hand of death. Don't be silly," said Billy. "I'll take her downstairs before I go. You'll be fine. Come on, Pucci." After Billy left, "Come on, B." But Billy said no. Fine. Have fun being munched by Puppy. He won't even notice we're at school. So Pete went to the. Oh, we are going to school. What an adventure! The important thing is that we stick together. Peace Lake Primary School, Chapter Two. Out of the bag. I'm glad the mini monsters are safe at home. Thought Billy. I've got enough to worry about Basil. Oh no," groaned Billy as the 
monsters scatter in all directions. How on earth was he going to find them? They could be lost in the school forever. I wait until everyone has gone into the classroom. Billy decided. Then I look for them. Good morning, Billy," said his teacher, Mister Parker, coming up behind him. In you go, please. Billy had to go inside into the classroom. But as he went in, something on the floor caught his eye. Samuel, something small, and hairy. Pete. Billy quickly bent down to pick him up. Billy, what have you got in your hands? Asked Mr. Parker. Nothing, Mr. Parker. Show me," his teacher said. Where could he hide Pete? There was nowhere to put him. No, no, now here, except the hamster cage. Look, Mr. Parker," said Billy. "I've got empty hands." Outside the classroom. Uh oh, we've got to the to get. The, in, into the classroom to find Peep and Gloop, but we'll never open that door. Well, we can, when we can stay here, we'll be seen. Oh no! Someone, someone's coming. I scare them off. No, we must hide under here. Are you sure this is a great idea? You'll be fine. Ah! Uh oh. Chapter three. It's the flying hamster. Next week, we are going to read this book. Bye bye, everyone. Have a nice day.